Austin, 2.7 multiplying radical binomials. Binomial means it's two terms. So having something like x plus 2, that's a binomial, times x plus 3, another binomial. Hoping you remember the acronym FOIL. It stands for multiply the first terms, then the outer, then the inner, and then the last terms. First are the two terms that come first in each set of parentheses. So in this problem, to multiply these binomials, I would take x times x and get x squared. Outers would be the two farthest away. Like if this were a sandwich, these would be your bread. x times 3, which is 3x. Then you'd go inners, which are the two in the middle, two closest together, which would be 2 times x. And then last would be the ones that come last in the parentheses. So 2 times 3, which is 6. And then you combine your like terms to get x squared plus 5x plus 6. That's what we're doing, but we're doing them with radicals. It says to express the product in simplest form. So we want to take first times first, square root of 6 times square root of 6. And you'll be able to do that faster here after this first one. Outers, 5 times square root of 6. 5 square roots of 6. Always put the regular number in front of the radical. Another 5 times square root of 6. And then last but not least, the last 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is really the square root of 36. What is the square root of 36? 6. So anytime you have, it's almost like having this square root of 6 times 6 is square root of 6 squared. Square root and square cancel, so you're left with 6. So hopefully that can speed you up in the future. So we've got 6 here, plus 5 square root of 6, plus 5 square root of 6, plus 25. These are like terms, and we just add the leading coefficient, so 5 plus 5 would be 10. So we get 6 plus 10 square roots of 6 plus 25. We also have like terms with the 6 and the 25, which is 31. So it's 31 plus 10 square roots of 6. Number 2, let's see if we can go a little faster. <clears throat> First, square root of 6 times square root of 6, that's square root of 36, which I know is really just going to be 6. Outers is negative 5 times square root of 6, which would be negative 5 square root of 6. Inners is positive 5 times square root of 6. And then last is a positive 5 times a negative 5. What's going to happen here is you have a negative 5 square roots of 6 plus 5 square roots of 6. Those are going to make 0 because negative 5 plus 5 makes 0. So 6 minus 25, which is negative 19. So look at the difference in these problems. They were almost the same. Started out the same. They both had positive. But look here. This had a negative. This had another positive. So what this did is create two exact terms in the middle that you had to put together versus this one created two opposite terms in the middle which canceled out. This is actually called a conjugate. We'll get to more of that here in a couple lessons. Actually the next, no, no, not the next one. I think the one after that. A conjugate is what that's called. It's the same exact thing, just making it the opposite sign in the middle. Number three, looks scary, it's really not. We're going to FOIL it. So first times first, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Outers, 1 times negative 3 square roots of 8 is still negative 3 square roots of 8. Inner, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 square roots of 2. And last, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. We can multiply these. 2 times 8 would be square root of 16. All right, let's simplify some stuff here. 8 can be broken down into a square root of 4 and a square root of 2, <coughs> which becomes this is a 2. So 2 times the negative 3 in front becomes negative 6 square roots of 2 plus 8 square roots of 2. And then square root of 16 is simply 4. So what's 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, put your like terms together since these both have square roots of 2. So we've got, these also can be put together, and then these. Let's do these first. 24 minus 4 is 20. 8 and negative 6 makes positive 2 square roots of 2. So something that looks scary really simplified, and it wasn't that scary. 
All right, number four. Anytime you see this exponent on the outside, what I want you to do is actually write this twice. So it's saying this whole thing is times itself again. Like that, okay? So it splits it into two. Now we're just gonna FOIL. First times first, 16. First times, or outer, sorry. First outer, four times negative x is negative four x, square roots of three. Enters, it should be the exact same thing because I wrote this same thing twice. It should be a negative four x, square root of three. And then last, negative x times negative x. Think negative one times negative one is positive one x squared. Square root of three times square root of three should be square root of nine, which is actually back to a three. Oh, I forgot the x here. Okay, so it doesn't really matter the order you put this together. But we've got 16, put these terms together. So it's negative eight x square roots of three plus, this was a three x squared. No more like terms, so keep it just like that.